go F yourself, Dad. That's what she said to me. I knew those words were coming out of her mouth before she even said them. I could see them in her eyes, burning. Sometimes when she talks to me, she might as well be slapping me in the face. Pain. Years of pain. I knew she wasn't happy. It had been years like this. Truth is, something happened to her when she was younger, but she'd never talked to me about it. She used to laugh. Really, she, she did and smile and play. She'd follow me around the house and just repeat every word out of my mouth. But those days are a dream now. I bet he's telling you how I have changed, isn't he? He loves to look like the good guy, always playing the hero. I I hate, I hate, I hate him. He acts like he owns me, always holding over my head the fact that he's my dad. Let it go, seriously. That line is so played out. Do I regret leaving? Of course not. Never have, never will. Why would I regret leaving a home where I wasn't really free? He was always telling me what to do, always making me do stuff around the house. It's ridiculous. He's such an a-hole. You know, he's so rich that he could hire people. He could hire people to do all his work, but he still expected me to do a whole list of stuff around his house. And what did he do with all his time? No, I don't miss my sister. She's spoiled. Whenever she didn't get what she wanted, she'd just go around the house slamming doors. She never really worked. I bet she told you that dad made her work all the time. She's always been a liar. All her stuff fell on me. I pulled her weight those years, so do I miss her? It's not like anything's changed. I still do all her work. People say life goes on. I never really could figure out why they said that. Time goes on. Life, it either lives or it dies. Sure, yeah, time goes on. But have I felt alive these past weeks? To tell you the truth, most days I feel like I'm missing a part of me. It feels like someone chopped my left arm off. Yeah, much of my life is still the same. But then there's those moments where it's like I go to reach for something with my arm and I remember again, it's not there. So if you're asking me if I miss my daughter, you know the answer already. If you're asking if the pain has healed, well, there's a scar, but she's still missing. I'm living without an arm right now and I miss her every day. Yeah, it's, it's hard to watch. I used to respect my dad. He made it big, always worked hard, and did things right. I, I guess you could say he used to be my hero. Uh, but now, I, I see him so weak over, over my sister leaving. I don't get it. I just don't get it. She left. Get over it. She's never really loved him anyways, so... I really don't even know why he cares so much. Yeah, it's hard to watch your dad go from being so strong to just being so weak. No, no, he doesn't get it. He, he thinks he does, but how could he really get it? He didn't bring her into this world. 
Yeah, he was there when she was born, but being there isn't the same as being dad, being the one who brought that baby into this world. Life is good. I mean, a lot better than it used to be. I do what I want, go where I want, hang out with who I want, get what I want. I am living the dream. Nobody back home does it up like this. There's always something to do. This place is alive. Back home, it was dead all week. Here, I haven't slept in the same bed once, if, if I sleep at all. It's party all night. New people, new parties, new drinks, new drugs, new bed again. I love it. Do I think she's happy? My daughter forgot what happiness was a long time ago. The past 10 years, she's been oscillating between numb and high. I wasn't gonna tell her no when she came and asked for her inheritance that day. She needed to leave. Sometimes they need to leave. I gave it to her willingly. You know, it, it, it's her life to live. But I hope she can look back on that day and know that the reason I gave her the money, the real reason is because I love her. Even on that day, I loved her. Even while she was walking away, I loved her. No. No, I don't think the money will make her happy. But how could she ever know unless she left? It's like all those nights that I bought the drinks meant nothing. I did so much for them, and what am I getting out of it? Nothing. Seriously. Like, didn't their parents teach them anything about being a decent human being? I'm, I'm not asking for anything major, just for people to have a code of ethics. I mean, there were all those weekends that they came over, trashed my house, ate all my food, and drank everything in my fridge, and did I ever hold it over their heads? No, because I have class. My dad did not raise me to be a selfish pig. Why do you always want to talk about my sister? What about me? Did you ever think to ask me what it's like to still be at home? To be doing everything so that my dad's business doesn't fall apart? I put in overtime every week. Does he tell me to take off and hang out with my friends? I've been working here for three months. Yeah, when, when I start, I started back when my money ran out. I mean, sometimes you have to work to eat. Is it a dream job? Do you think that working at the city sanitation department is a dream job? I come home smelling like a gas station bathroom every night. I'm barely making enough money to pay my rent. And it's been spam and rice for breakfast and lunch and dinner. Yeah, it's been hard. One child's gone and the other might as well be. You know, I tell him he doesn't have to work so long but he just isn't hearing it. Somehow along the way, he got it into his mind that he needs to stay busy all the time. 
I just want to have a night at home with him. I want to take him out. I want to go shopping with him. I want to kick a soccer ball with my son. So what I'm praying is, I'm praying that he remembers that I just want to be with him. I'm praying that he remembers before I leave this child too. This is ridiculous, isn't it? I mean, tell me it's ridiculous. This whole thing is ridiculous. What am I even doing out here? Will you just tell me that I'm being crazy? Please, I just, I need someone to tell me that I'm being crazy. I'm, I'm out here busting my butt all day long working with literal crap for crying out loud. Man, as bad as it ever was with my dad, it was never like this. I barely have enough to eat if I eat at all. What, what am I doing out here? What's keeping me from going home? And tell me I should just go home. Wait, will you just tell me what to do? Tell me that I should go home. Yeah, I catch myself stealing glances out the window. Guess, I guess I just keep hoping she's coming home. I see headlights drive by and I always look. Whenever I see a young woman walk by, I look up because I think it might be my daughter. If you're a dad, you understand. You just want your kids home. You want to know they're safe. You want to know they're happy. You want to be with them. Yeah, I guess you could say I'm keeping an eye out for him. I've just, I've just got to do it. I, I can't live like this. It's crazy. Even the people that work for my dad are living better than this. They're making more money. He'd even have them over to the house. He'd take care of them. He looks out for the people who work for him. I've just, I've, I've got to, I got, I've got to do it. I'm doing it. I'm packing up my stuff. I've just, I've got to go home. I'll tell him that I'm sorry. I'll tell, I'll tell him that I messed up. I'll, I'll ask him for a job and I'll pay him back. I'll, I'll pay him back every cent. If he, if he knows that I'm serious, if he really knows that I'll pay him back. Yeah. Yeah, he'll, he'll take care of me. Yeah, he'll, he'll take me back. They always feel like they need to make it up to you when they realize they've messed up, don't they? Could you believe that when my daughter came home, she thought that I'd make her pay me back? As if it was ever about the money. I got my daughter back that day. My daughter, my daughter is alive. Yeah, it's true. Every time I've talked with you, every time I've talked with you, I've hoped that she was alive. I'd picture her working in some town somewhere, but I won't lie to you. When I'd lie in bed at night, Hope would fade and I'd be afraid that my daughter had died. I, I was afraid that I'd never get to see her again. But my daughter is home. My daughter is home with me. I mean, what more could a dad ask for? Do you want to know something? My daddy loves me. I'm not talking about the tuck you in at night and say I love you with a kiss on the head kind of love. My daddy loves me. 
I came home with a list of plans of, of how I'd make it up, how I'd earn back his trust, earn, earn back his love. I'd go to work for him, and I, I'd work harder than anybody's ever worked for him before. I'd do it, and I'd never complain. You know the first thing my dad did when he saw me? He, he ran down the street to me sobbing and my my dad does not run okay I, th I thought he was gonna hit me at first but then his arms flew open and he collided with me and he swung me around his arms tied around me and he just kept saying you're home you're home you're home and I tried to tell him how I'd make it all up to him and he just shushed me and he kept saying you're home you're home. You're home. It's typical, isn't it? He said he never had a favorite. Dads, since the beginning of time, have been trying to tell us that they don't play favorites. But here's just one more case in history that proves my point. He always liked her more. What's wrong with him? She abandoned our family. She might as well have broken into his shop and emptied out his cash register. The way she stormed off with his money. I mean, seriously, what about me? I've been working overtime shifts. My loser of a sister comes home and he throws her a party. He treats her like she's a princess. It's like her 16th birthday, the way he rolled out the presents for her. What about me? When's he ever done anything like that for me? He's a good kid. People talk about life-changing moments. I've heard tons of people talk about life-changing moments. Moments that don't just mean something to you, but those moments that redefine everything. I was looking for something when I ran off, and I thought that I, if I could just get out there and see the world, that I'd really be able to smile again, and that I'd be able to laugh and, and not feel like a faker. And I look back on all of this and I'm convinced that the real problem, the real reason that I ran off was because something was wrong inside of me. People talk about a soul. I see now that somewhere along the line, my soul had gotten disconnected from the rest of me. And it's like I was a shell. That there wasn't any real substance to me. I can still feel my dad's arms around me, his tears dripping down into my hair. I don't, I don't know if he knows it, but that moment, those tears and those arms put things back together inside of me. I know he's angry with me. He doesn't think I love him. I would give anything. I would give him anything he asked for. My daughter came home. My daughter that I thought was dead came home. When you're a dad and that happens, you throw a party. You hug her, you kiss her, you treat her like the princess that she's always been. I invited her brother in that night. I even went out and found him when he didn't come in at first. I searched him out, all his usual places. I even begged him. I even begged him to come in that night. His sister came back. My daughter came back, his friend. He 
He forgets how close they were. I wish he could have been with us that night. I wish he could have been a part of that night. I wish he would have celebrated. Our family that was broken got put back together. And he chose to miss that moment. So if I could go back in time and do it over again, the truth is I'd do it the same way. I'd look my angry daughter in the eyes and give her the money. And when she came back home, I'd run to her, I'd hug and kiss her. I'd throw her the party. And for my son who doesn't think I love him, who thinks I overlook him, I'd go and I'd search for him. And I would be on my knees begging him to be a part of what's happening. So son, if you're watching this, know that your dad loves you, that I haven't forgotten about you. And sweetie, you're home and your daddy loves you. If there's nothing else you two know, just know that your dad loves you. Thank you.